see how to split a string so we need data everywhere so as we have data from the web server or from the command line so we need to process the data so in order to process that data we need to split that data into pieces to get our required information so in c we use string talk and string talk underscore r for having that splitting operation so let's see how we can do uh, you know the splitting so in this example i have taken a string right so they have name age roll number and marks and we need to see what type of delimiter or what type of pattern do our delimiter have so in this case we are having a comma separated data right so in order to get the required details uh, one by one we need to have uh, one api so let's see uh, what this api is and it's string talk so this api have two parameters so first one is the pointer to the string so in this case we have this str as a you know the pointer to the array of this string so we need to input str here then the second parameter is the delimiter so what is a delimiter it is this uh, in this case we having the comma separated and here we will be taking comma right so what this api will return it will return a character pointer so let's take uh, a pointer ptr is equal to this and here we take a character pointer ptr and initially let's you know initiate it to null and after this operation the string toes knows that the starting of this string and we will have the pointer to this location so the next call will having is will use ptr is equal to string talk and next will be null in this case i will tell you why i have taken null here then the same comma and again because we have four you know different types of data that is you know separated by the comma so we need to have four calls to string talk okay so now we need to you know print the data so how we can print it we can have printf here then we need to have percentage s and then we will take next line character then we have ptr here okay we just copy this ptr and we just put it after each string talk right So after this operation, we'll see how all the details. So let's compile this program to see how the data is being splitted. So let's have GCC hyphen O, then we have passing, then we have passing the name of the file. And now we got the executable here that is passing. And then we use the passing and all our data is being splitted right so in order to have uh, you know such a lengthy uh, you know string talk call we can have it in a while loop also so let's take it in a while loop so let's uh, you know delete these calls and let's have you know while loop after this then we have the ptr here then we use this and now our while loop works okay 
so what i have done here i just put a string talk uh, above this while loop to let the string toes knows that the string uh, that we have to pass and then we have uh, multiple calls to the string talk with a null in a place of a string right so let's compile this also and see what happens so let's have the same so again the same result okay so now string talk why we are calling this null here is because string talk let's uh, change our string now and put some more details into it like we have name as robert then we have age as 22 then we have roll number as one two three four and we have marks as 340 right so this time we have two types of delimiter in this string that is colon and comma and uh, this data is continuous to the same uh, you know pattern of delimiters so how to change your code to parse each and every uh, you know data in uh, separated by the delimiter so the first delimiter that we have encountered here is colon so the pre-requirement for passing a string is that that we know that what type of you know pattern of delimiter are we having so we should have a pre knowledge of our data before parsing it so let's uh, so the first delimiter is colon and uh, we will be having colon here then the next delimiter is comma and uh, here is a comma so in the while loop we need to have one more string talk to parse the second colon so let's have this and uh, then we have colon here and now we need to print this also here and uh, now uh, we'll save it and let's have uh, you know compile this code and see whether we have all the data that is listed here or not so let's have gcc and then we have passing so you see here you will have each and every data that is separated by the delimiter in here okay so this way uh, you need to you know have a splitting of data but if you see string talk is not a you know th thread safe uh, function so because string talk internally use a static variable that is being manipulated by the different thread as you know that the static uh, variables have been shared between the threads so that is the case we'll see how glibc uh, you know implement this uh, string talk in their code okay so uh, so we are done with uh, this thing and let's uh, go for uh, glibc so let's check for the glibc uh, version here so we are using glibc 2.27 and let's have the code for that also so we have this bootling and there we have glibc 2.27 source and in here we need to go to the you know find for str uh, talk so you see this is a source code for string talk so if you see this source code you will see there is a static variable that is present in this call so that's why this string talk is not you know thread safe so if we want our programming to be you know thread safe so we can use string talk underscore r api that is a you know thread safe uh, uh, you know the uh, this uh, call and uh, so if you see here uh, you know the string uh, talk internally calls string talk underscore r 
so let's see uh, the code of uh, string talk and how will be we are using that so let's have string talk underscore r so if you see the code for the string talk will having the same pattern and we have one extra parameter that has been passed to this string talk underscore r that is the save pointer so this is a re-entrant function and uh, what it does it will save the previous token address and you know keep on uh, you know uh, splitting the string with that value so if you see uh, this code you are using strcpn so what it does it will calculate the you know the length of the token or the substring till we have uh, the delimiter and it will have the pointer operation to pass uh, you know the pointer address to that place so this way uh, they are using it and they are continuously updating the save pointer okay so this is how uh, they have implemented this thing and if this string is null so their case you have the save pointer the previous address of that string uh, so it will be passed to the s variable and it is being returned in the last okay so this is how we are using string talk underscore r okay so so it depends on how you want to use your you know string talk in your application or your library so it go depends on that thing okay so this is uh, how we can use uh, string talk and uh, we can use splitting of the string so see you in the next video